Hi, fifth graders. Here I am in Mrs. Judah's first grade classroom, so I can use a great big chalkboard. I want you to go get four pieces of paper real quickly as we're getting ready, okay? Now, we're going to have to be moving our little stand here, so you're going to have to be patient with me as I get all set up, and I'll be patient with you as you <coughs> go find your paper. Okay, fifth graders, um, there's so much I feel like we've missed with you. Um, but I did want to be sure to get you a little bit of drawing. And you know Mrs. Auclair cannot draw, but go to the library, number four, uh, I'm sorry, number 745, and find you some good art books. Ed Emberley is our main guy. This one happens to be by Lee Ames. Most of his things are too hard for me, but I did find a section on perspective, which was quite easy. Now, perspective is the type of view that we have. Um, the first thing we're going to do is draw a box. Now, most of you have been doing this for a long time, but let's let's try. Okay, draw your box. There's box one. Now, I'm going to draw another box right behind it and scoot it over a little bit. Okay, I got my second box. Now, connect the two. But this one went over a little bit, and it looks like I'm looking down inside the box. Okay. Now, we're going to draw a house. So, Miss Oakley, I've been drawing a house since I was five years old. So was I, but you're gonna, we're going to have a couple of masterpieces before we get done today. Okay, draw your house. Put your roof on. Try to get the floors leveled. Here's your roof. Okay. Now put your door in. Now, I want perspective. I want to see the side of the house. And I'm going to be slanted. Nothing is going to be level with this one because when I look back, things are slanting back that way and looking smaller. Okay, so here's the floor of the side of the house. Here's the wall of the side of the house. And there's the end of my house. Now, we need to move our little thing, don't we? Okay. All right. Now I want the roof. I don't want to go all the way back. I want to give some slant to the roof. Okay. Now, do a triangle. Three sides, remember? Have we forgotten everything? Now, I want to do the side of the triangle. So, now don't come all the way down because this part looks farther away. And then I'm going to shade it in with my pencil. Okay, now I'm going to make a sign, rectangle, like a for sale sign in the yard of the house, okay, just a rectangle. I'll put the post, now you can't see the post very well, can you? I'm going to draw a shadow for, this, for the house, okay, let's see if we can get this down a little bit. All right, you're going to have to be patient with me. I have to figure out how to do all this stuff, okay? All right, so slant, and it's a shadow. Okay, you can't see it yet, can you? Okay, now can you see what I did? Just slant, not, not very thick lines, just light lines. Then for one of our masterpieces, we're going to draw some grass. So we're going to put a little bit of grass here just to practice some, just some lines. Okay. All right. I'm going to erase this part. And while you are getting ready, I will get ready to draw my railroad track. Okay. We're going to draw a house in a minute. 
first we want to get our railroad track because we want to get our perspective, okay? Now the railroad track, when you look down, it looks like the railroad track goes to a peak, doesn't it? When you're on the road and you look way down the distance at the road, it looks like the road comes together. But the road doesn't come together, does it? It's the way it looks off in the distance. So your railroad track, you ready? Start wide and go back, okay? Now, the railroad ties are just going to be rectangles, okay? Overlap each line a little, come down, okay? And the railroad ties, as you go, you take big steps, and you can go on each railroad tie, can't you? Okay, so let's draw three or four of them. We're trying to get our perspective. Each one is smaller than the other one, isn't it? So that one almost got, uh, let's make that one a little bit smaller. I don't want it to be bigger than that one. And then we'll do our last one. Okay. Now, I want to show perspective. I want to show depth, like the third dimension. So in front of each railroad tie, I'm going to draw another teeny, teeny rectangle. It's going to be the side of the board. So exact same size. Come down, across. See that? And take your pencil and shade it in because the sun has cast a shadow on that part. And you're going to draw a little one on each one. Oh, that one got kind of fat, didn't it? All the way down my railroad track. Same size. There. I have drawn a railroad track. Now, for me who can't draw anything, I'm excited that I drew that and I could tell it's a railroad track. I hope you can tell too. <laughs> All right. Turn your paper over on the back. Now, I'm going to erase my the aims too because I'm going to use a whole bunch. Now this one, I'm going to draw a street full of buildings. If you've ever come down Kennedy Avenue and you come up over a couple sets of railroad tracks, on the left side of the road there's a whole bunch of metal buildings and all those buildings have a different color roof. There's brown and black and gray and maroon and green. And as you look down the road, every building seems to be smaller than the building before. You and I are going to draw that. Okay. Now, here's the edge of my paper. Okay. There's my paper. Now, I am so close to this building, I can't see the back. If I saw the back, I would have to move my body so that my eyes could see the back. So, off the page and down. I'm drawing a house. Okay. Slant. This is the front of the building. Down. Draw your door. This is a warehouse. So, draw a big door. Okay. And the roof is just a triangle. Okay. Here we go. Right over the front of the house and off the page. Now, can you see my beautiful house? Okay. And I get you to see that part. Okay. My phone's kind of wobbling. Now, hang on. My next building is a little bit smaller. Let me draw the rest of my paper. My next building is a little bit smaller. Okay, now before I go to my next building, I'm going to draw the road. Okay, here's my road. One side of the road, other side of the road. Now it's going to get smaller as it go, but not to a, a peak like that down the road. Can you see? Oh, you can't see very well, can you? 
There we go. Okay. All right. Here it goes. I'm ready for my next building. Now, come right here and right here. I don't want it as tall as my first, but it's going to be drawn exact same way. Okay, out and down. Door. Okay, draw this one out a ways. Triangle. Building number two. You with me? This is fun, isn't it? Go get you a good art book that you can understand. The simpler the better. Some of you the harder the better. But don't be like I was and grow up your whole life and not be able to draw when you want to draw. There's a book. Okay, third building. Door. See how each one is getting smaller? Yeah. Coming, coming down a little ways on every building. You see that one? Okay. Come out. Triangle. Building number four. Part way out. Part way out. Down. Got it. See my street? I've got a row of buildings, and there's my street. Now, I'm going to really get quite detailed for me. I'm going to shade my building. So, just with your pencil, very lightly, shade. Shade all your roofs. Isn't that good? Now, we're going to shade the building. As you practice, remember, the more you practice, the better you get. And you have to keep practicing and practicing these. And shade this up. This is the side of the building. Don't do the part with the door. And there is my street. Okay. Go to your next piece of paper. You say, but you're going too fast, just like you do in class. But you go back and you practice, okay? Got a house, off the paper, the front, the door, triangle, rectangle, rectangle, triangle, rectangle. It's all it is. Next building, come down a ways from the roof, come down a ways from the door. Next one, down some more, down some more. Fourth one, down some more, down some more, and draw. You boys that know how to draw cars real well, you could draw a car, but this one would be the biggest one. This one would be smaller, and this one would be quite small. Because as they're farther away from me, I can't see them very well. Okay, are you ready for masterpiece number one? It's really easy. You're going to be excited. Now, while you're getting new paper ready, I am going to erase a little, and I'm going to scoot this over and hope I don't lose the whole phone. Okay, are you with me? Are you ready? I'm not. Get your paper ready. Brand new piece of paper. Here's, this one's gonna be a masterpiece. Okay. All right. This time, I'm going to draw a Hawaiian village. And I'm gonna draw a little grass hut. Okay. And I'm going to draw a palm tree and some mountains. And it's going to look like it. And you're going to be very happy. Okay. Here's the bottom of my page. Here's my page. Okay. Over on the left-hand side, you leave a little, leave a little bit of space, maybe a, a hand amount of space. Draw a little hill. And this is where my palm tree is going to be. And I think I want a little bit bigger one. There. My palm tree. Now, 
the trees you don't want to go straight because they have bark and so you're going to come up like this got it and then up like this short marks now you're going to have to practice this if you're going to get good all right here's my truck now do this next part kind of fast and you're just going to go down and up, then down and up. We're going to make the leaves, okay? Right here. Down, up. Pointy, pointy leaves. Down, up. Down, up. Down, up. Down, up. See it? There it is. <laughs> hey, that's a palm tree, and I drew it. And I want a coconut in my palm tree. So put, put your coconut right in there. Okay. Now, palm trees and bark on the trees is very jaggedy. So, and I don't want to draw straight lines. So, it's like that. Okay. There we go. Okay. Now, come over a little ways. I'm drawing a village. Okay. I'm sorry. A grass hut. Just one little hut. No, not a village. Okay. Here's my house, and it's setting back from the palm tree. So as I look at the picture, the palm tree is the biggest thing. Okay, my house, just like I drew a while ago. Only the door's going to be on the side. This is the side of the house. Now, here's going to be the front. You with me? Oh, you can't be with me. You can't even see it. Okay, looks like a box, doesn't it? Okay, now I want a round door and I want it to look like it's open. So how do you think I could do that? I'm going to shade it. Okay, now I'm going to put a roof on my house and this time, a triangle, this time I want this side to hang over. Okay. Then draw the back. Don't go all the way back because it's got to slant. Okay. Can you see? All right. Now, my little hut is on some poles. Okay. Now, it's on stilts. The closest one to me is the biggest one, right? Okay. So, there's the closest one. Then, the farther away one. Get them the same size. And the closer one, and the farther away one. Okay, got it. See my, see my hut? There it is. Okay, that's up a little high for you, isn't it? Plus my phone keeps moving. All right, now we are going to draw some mountains in the back. Now, a mountain doesn't grow over top of the tree. So it has to be behind the tree. Okay. Now, I'm going to try to hold this as I do it. Start up here. Oh, <laughs> that's the wrong one. Okay. Start up here. Here's my paper. Okay. Come up here behind your palm tree. Okay. And it's going to look like, it's going to look like waves. Got it? <laughs> My phone is going all around. Okay, I'm going to draw it, and then I'll show you. Make it look like waves in the distance. Okay? Now, that's not waves. It is mountains. But I got to show that it's not a wave. So I'm coming back over here to my palm tree, and very light touch of my pencil. See what I did? Okay. Now I gotta skip over the leaf. The mountain doesn't grow over top of the leaf. See what I'm doing? See there? Got that? I'm sorry, I'm not very good at all this stuff. We're trying though, aren't we? Okay, that's to show. 
the mountain. All right, I think I've got to anchor my phone a little bit better. Be patient with me as you are drawing your picture. Now, we're going to put some tufts of grass to, because in the Hawaii and Florida, in California, it's very sandy, and grass doesn't grow like it does in Indiana because they don't have rain like we're having. Okay, so just little tufts of grass. Okay, see, this is it. Three, four little sprigs. Okay, put some on the other side. Put some in the front. And we're going to put this all over our picture. Put a little bit by the house. Um, they have to take the weed eater and cut this part down. Now, these are farther away, so are they bigger or smaller? Right, smaller. Now, put a few here and there. Put a few back here. Put a few back here. Okay. You like your masterpiece? There's your hut your little grass hut, and there's your palm tree, and your mountains in the back. You're going to have to practice on those mountains because those are pretty hard. Okay. Da-da, drum roll. Here comes masterpiece of all masterpieces. And I'm going to move my podium again. Get your clean piece of paper ready. I'm going to have to adjust my camera. Okay, here we go. Got your clean paper. <clears throat> we are going to draw a forest. We're going to draw six or seven trees, but follow exactly what I'm telling you to do. Okay, clean piece of paper. Yeah. I'm going to draw Okay. Let me see. Okay, I need to come down farther, don't I? Okay. <clears throat> Here's my paper. All right. My paper. Got my paper? Okay. Come a little bit past halfway. Gets adjusted again. A little bit past halfway, and we're going to do our first big tree. Um, I like to do this about this time of year, maybe a little bit before, because I want you to look at some trees. They don't aren't covered in their leaves yet. You've got the big trunk, you've got the big branches, and every branch coming out toward the end gets smaller and smaller and smaller. Okay. Now. We're going to put one huge tree right smack in front of us. I'm standing in front of the tree and looking eye level. I can't see the top and I can't see the bottom. Now, I don't want a straight line because the bark is jaggedy. So you're going to go jerky motions, okay? And I don't draw the trunk over where the branch is going to come out. I'm going to leave that spot. Let me show you what I mean. Okay, start down at the bottom over about a little, little more than halfway, okay? Now, see my jerky motions? Now, when I draw this picture, I get really excited because I do it. Okay, now, here's this side. Okay, come a little more. And this branch is going off the page too. So, jerky. Okay, see that branch? Okay, now here's the rest of the branch. Now, see how I didn't draw anything right there? Okay, I don't want to cover up the trunk. Okay, I'm going to come back here, and I'm going to go straight to the top. Straight to the top of my page. Okay, now i got to go to the other side. It's going to be up a little higher. <clears throat> the branches don't match up, do they? All right, let me extend my paper. Jerky lines. 
and then up. Okay, now, you see that one? Okay, and there's the top of my page. Top of tree, bottom of tree is off the page. Now, I want to show bark, so I'm just going to draw some lines. And on the tree, on the branch, no rhyme or reason to it. Just some trees, okay? That looked like a tree. Okay, off the top, off the bottom. Now, my next tree, I'm going to see the bottom. So I'm going to come over here to the side a little bit for tree number two. Let me move my camera a smidge. Okay, right here. And I'm going to draw the roots. Okay, got it? Okay, just up, long, pointy. Okay, see that one? Okay, now some of these branches are going to be off also. Got more branches because I can see more. Okay, now this time this branch is going to be hidden by my big tree. See how my big tree hid my branches? See there? So I can't see them because the big tree hid my branches. This will be much easier to do if you were sitting in front of me, I tell you. Okay, now, come on the other side of my big tree. You like looking at my back? <laughs> okay, other side of my big tree. Now, can't see the bottom of this one. I can see the bottom of this one. And I don't want anything even Every tree is back, a little perspective, is back a little farther than the other one. So third tree is going to be about right here, okay, on the other side. See, here's tree two, here's tree three, and we'll move this over, okay? So tree three, draw the roots. I don't want them as big as tree two. And one of my branches is covered by the big tree, too. Okay, but I'm going to have more branches this time. And this time, we can end it. And just, just pointy lines. Okay, see my pointy lines? Okay. <laughs> it looks like it's getting a little bit fat, doesn't it? Am I going to do my bark? See, see number three? Okay, my lines. Yeah, it's probably not a very good one. But you boys and girls are much better at art than Mrs. Alclair. I hope you are anyway. Okay, yeah, come back over here to tree number two. And um, in fact, I think I'm going to go in the middle. All right. Tree number one, tree number two, tree number three. So I'm coming in the middle of tree two and tree one. Okay. Hang on. Here we go. Now, it's got to be back farther than tree three. Okay. Does that one look back farther? Here's tree three. Here's the bottom of tree four. Okay. Tree four. Zigzaggy. And it's the top is running into the branches of my big tree. Okay. See some roots coming out there. Okay. Draw your bark. Tree four. Okay. Tree one. Can't see top or bottom. Tree two. See bottom. Can't see all the top. Tree three. See the bottom. See some of the top. Tree four. I see the whole tree. There's, and there's the branch of tree 
one. Okay, I'm going to try to draw two or three, two or three more trees, okay? Come on this other side of tree two in the corner. How we doing? Okay. You're getting good at this by now, aren't you? Draw your bark. Draw your roots. There's tree four. It's back. All right. Tree five. I'm going to put right here, but I'm not going to see very much of it. It's going to be behind. It's going to be behind my big tree. We're going to do some more little trees. Let's see how many we got. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five, six. So come over here. Past tree three. Little teeny tiny. It needs to be back farther. Can't see much of it. Okay, you got them. How you doing? Tree one, tree two, tree three, tree four, tree five, tree six, tree, tree seven. <laughs> we doing good. Now we're gonna try that. Try to draw that mountain in the back. But you can't put any mountain over top of the branch. It has to be behind the branch. And let's do them a little bigger than we did before. I don't think I did a very good job before. Right at the top. Okay. Skip over the big branch. Skip over all the branches. Okay. Now, what do I do to show... See my, see my mountains? What do I do to show that it's not the ocean? These are not trees. Uh, these aren't dead trees either. These are trees in the winter. These are not dead um, trees floating in the ocean. I'm going to draw my little shaky line, okay, to show that it's the bottom of, of the mountain. See it? Gotta go over farther, don't I? There I go. See the see the little line? Okay. All right. Now come here with a little line. Come here. 